to have you with me, a very special guest. I've been trying to hunt her for seven years to come on this show, and um, I guess seven is my lucky number because she's finally here. Um, a, a legend, if I may use that word, uh, of the Nollywood industry and someone who a lot of us grew up to admire. Doesn't make her old. She just started out very early and she has been doing amazing things. Omotala Jaladia Kende. Hi. Thanks for being here today. What's Thank finally you. changed your mind to come and visit us? It's not us? been up to seven years. Please tell me that's <laughs> okay, not true. Okay, six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Pleasure. Hi. Good to see you. Um, you are consistent in oh your my. work and you have continued to stay on top of your game. And I, I just want to start off with that. What are you doing differently from a lot of your colleagues who are... I mean, I'm not saying people have come and gone, but I mean, you're still there, you know, consistently. What, is, what are you doing differently, you think? Well, first and foremost, uh, thank you, Buka, for having <laughs> me. And thanks for that uh, intro. Yeah. Um, I, and thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I know exactly, because everybody would probably interpret what I'm doing differently. Yeah. But I think it is just, um, to the best of my knowledge, just staying true to yourself. Um, not uh, being pressured by whatever is happening around you. Because yeah. then, you know, you find out that if you listen or uh, look at things around you too much, um, it, it, it stretches you. Yeah. And then you'll burn out. How easy is that, though? Because, I mean, you work in an industry where you're constantly talked about. Yeah. In entertainment, it's kind of what you live with. Mm -hmm. You're in the news. I mean, we have the social media. And before social media, there were tabloids. Yeah, tabloids. And you were always, they, lo they loved you. And they still love you in the blogs, even. How have you able to just, like you say, just ignore well you you have to you have to be yourself and i think people will catch up with who you are the essence of who you are i mean those days you know there will be there will be some funny story somewhere and i remember i would call the journalist and say look you know before you publish this and write this about me do your investigation because if you don't i will come after you yeah. i'm not saying you know um <laughs> i'm the purest human being on earth but if you do find something about me then run with it yeah. but if you don't find something on me and you cannot prove don't it please do up. not make up anything about me and so you know, they respect that. They take their time to do their investigation, find that it's false. So after a while, you know, they realize oh, there's no point, you know, trying to tarnish this person's image because now they understand your essence and what you're trying to do. Yeah. So after a while, as long as you continue to do your work and you continue to uh, be consistent with your work and your vision, people catch up. People understand it. Yeah. It takes a while, though, but when they do, they really do. And then they help you, you know, to guide your, your career. What's the worst thing you ever heard about yourself? Um... <laughs> What's the worst thing? At this age, I guess you just don't even remember anymore now, do you? Uh, but let me see. I just don't pay these things any attention. I'm not sure I, I, anything comes to do you. Can, yeah. Is there anyone? Where? <laughs> say it. Where? No, I mean, we, we, there's so many stories. I, can't, I, can't I don't think know. Of yeah. True, true. Because I'm sure you've heard a lot of things that you're just like, really? Is this what you could uh, do? Yeah, I'm quite lucky, though. I mean, there's not been anything outrageously crazy, you know, yeah. about me or anything. But, you know, Every now and then, I mean, I remember one that happened that I was very young. It wasn't even like I was a star yet. I was just starting out in the... You know, back in those days, you'd first be a star in the industry. Yes. Before, before people would get to know about you because there was no social media. <laughs> so then, you know, people knew me in the industry. It was just around that same Mortal Inheritance time or whatever. You know, I don't fight movies before Mortal yeah. Inheritance. And I was sitting there in this restaurant in Oshope Plaza, I'll never forget, you know, in the Keja, upstairs somewhere on some, you know. And these gentlemen were sitting in front, and one of them was actually telling his friend, that, oh, you know, there's this new girl, you know, in the industry and all of that stuff, and she's my girlfriend, and in fact, I want to uh -huh. dump her, yeah. <laughs> I want to dump her, her name is Omotola, you know, and all of that. The girl even uses jazz on me. And, and you I, were was, there. I was sitting behind them with my, my, two of my friends. And one of my girlfriends was so mad, like she got up and she pulled up, <laughs> I forget, pulled up because it was, it was in the face cap, pulled his face cap, I was like, if you see Omotola, do you know her? <laughs> And this thing went crazy, and then he was like, sorry, and all of that stuff, and then they, you know, they scampered off and all of yeah. that. But that was my early introduction to, to the fact that people actually say, say anything about, about you, you, even yeah. when they don't know you. So. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I, I look at a lot of people, the industry is a lot bigger now. It Social is. media has made things a lot more sort of timely. Cause yeah. It happens Everything like, as you think about time, it, it's yeah. there. So it's probably even a lot more amplified now. It is. And you are still in the news. So, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of younger people who are in the industry who you're close to, mm -hmm. and they come up to you. Because, I mean, people watch right. this show and would like to know. So advice, for example, you know, when you see these things. I mean, I've, I know people try to sue sometimes, but we know the legal system oh, here is very nice. long it's and widening. How do you sort of make these things stop, if you can? Um, I think it starts with you. It yeah. starts with you and how you comport yourself. You have to be sure to not be confusing, all right? When you come out, be sure that your brand is very 
um, understandable. Yeah. You'll be very understandable be as a brand. Be clear about who you are. Be clear about who you are, what you stand for, and, and the things that matter to you. Um, when people understand that, they'll fall in line, you know. Um, now you're luckier. Because now you can refute anything if you wanted yeah. to. In those days, on your own, well, just... yeah, we have to go hire a PR <laughs> person, you know, and all of that stuff. Now you can actually go online and say it's not true. This is the real story. So use it to your advantage, yes. and don't make that your. Don't make it like, oh, okay, so I'll misbehave and I'll go and refute. Because yeah. after a while, everybody will notice that as well. So you know, just don't do anything in in secrets that you are not proud of if it comes out. Yeah. I guess that's my best advice. And don't do anything when you're still growing. That when you become a star, it's going to come back and haunt you. Very important. Yeah. yeah. So you just you know, pride and I want to ask, are you proud of Nollywood today? I mean, <laughs> Nollywood is in the context of Nollywood, because people like to count from living in bondage, right? 1992, even though the industry has been alive before then. True. But from 92 to now, we're talking 26, I believe, 27 About years. That, yes, yeah. um, are you proud of where we are today? I am. Stage? I am. It's a two-edged sword, you see, because um, we're kind of like starting all over again, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, with another kind of, uh, should I say medium or something like that now. Um, so we, we, had, we had the cinemas back in the day, you yeah. know, the days of Ogundi and all of that stuff, and that era went. Um, we had the big studios, you know, the, uh, from what I hear, you yeah, know, mostly and music and well. everything, but came and left, everything died out. And then we now had the era of the marketers and, and the, the, you know, the traders coming in as investors, home videos, you know, and all of that. And that era has kind of like died out. And now we're starting all over with the cinema Cinemas again. again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a new cycle different... every time. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a new circle. And so um, right now, I think the, the, uh, what we're most, um, should I say, proud for is the fact that at least um, now a lot of learned people are in the industry. A lot of uh, people are going to get knowledge, you know, about the, the career or, the, you know, the profession they're in. And um, they're better, you know, the standards are higher, you know. Yeah. So now there are things to to fight for now people are fighting to be um apart with their other counterparts everywhere else in the world so for that reason yes i mean we yeah. come of age you know um on the other uh, flip side we i'm not proud of the fact that you know 25 years in this industry i still don't have residuals i'm not proud of the fact that we don't have infrastructure or you know structure <laughs> you know so yeah so there's so many things you know foundational level that we, are, we don't have yeah. that i think that at this point we ought to have already put in place um, before all the multinationals come back, because otherwise it's going to happen again when they come oh, back and see leave. that your your house is still not in order, right? And yeah. you'll take advantage of all those things and you'll lose them. Yeah. And so I guess that's where uh, I am mentally as well. Yeah. Um, yeah is that, that why question. you don't you don't seem to do a lot of movies anymore? Is that why? It is part of the reason. Um, I'm I'm more so mentally for me when it comes to movies. I I have by the way I have two sons. My two sons right now are in the entertainment industry. My first son, Captain E, is a musician. Um, my second son, um, Michael, is studying film in Los Angeles right now. And so for the first time, it's really, really hitting me how disorganized my industry is and how much we have not done structurally, you know. And um, I know that there are people who are very intelligent in this industry, and somehow we just haven't coordinated ourselves enough, which is the reason why I am debuting Tefest, you know. Yeah. Um, but it just hit me that, okay, so individually, some of us are doing very well. But as a body, we're not, you know. So when you get into the room, people respect you because of who you are, your name, and all of that. But then the discussion goes down south real quick because yeah. then they start to talk about, oh, Nollywood, tell me about your industry. Tell me about... And then they start to ask all these questions and you can't answer them correctly and everything. And then the respect goes from there to like this yeah, like, oh, for yeah. no fault of mine. Yeah, just and I'm just over it. Are. Yeah, I'm yeah. just over it. And so I've decided to fall back. To answer that question more directly, I'm not doing movies um, per se because most of the time when I talk to um, producers, I say, look, from EJ, from when I did EJ, every movie I have done till now has had royalties in my contract. Okay. So if you're not going to put royalties in my contract, I'm not going to do your movie. Yeah, you just don't pay me off and go. No, you don't pay me off and go. I'm not going to eat today and eat my future. If I die tomorrow, let my children have something to, you know, to hold, hold on to. I think it's irresponsible that we're doing this or that we're allowing people to do this to us. And so you, you, you're just one of those voices fighting in this. You know, but yeah. I'm used to fighting. I'm an but activist. Is that... Is that um, <laughs> something that can stop being talked about now, considering the fact that, you know, distribution is still a big issue with a lot of markets, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, producers here, I beg your pardon, um, with regards to royalties after. How sustainable is that argument today? Very sustainable. I have never received a dime in royalties, at least not from movies. Yeah. And I say very clearly, I'm like, but I have royalties, um, you know, packaged residuals and everything written in my contract. Yeah, okay. So I say to producers, I'm not coming after you, okay? Yeah. I've done movies 10 years ago that I had that in my contract, but I've never asked them a dime. The point is, should one day you sign with some corporation that can actually pay me or you get into a system, yeah. I don't want to be in the deficit though. 
I mean, how hard is that to understand? But, you know, they will still want to do the Nigerian thing. You know, Nigeria, I know you're ready. No, okay, so if you're not ready, I'm not ready. I don't want to be in the project. I wish every actor will understand this and will stand up for this. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not happening with our guilds, you know, and all of that stuff. And so I've decided that the only best way I can do this is to actually bring the people who can teach us. Because there was a time when Hollywood too was in the same yeah. space, all right? And they turned it around somehow. Uh, and um, we can. And so those of us who are, who are um, in the position to bring that need to jump into that space and do it, yeah. unfortunately. But then I've left my job as being an actor now to now the back end where I have to now help yeah. to build the structure as well. There's two sides to your generation of Nollywood. Uh, people tend to look at you guys in two, in two ways. You guys mm -hmm. built the industry, carried it on your back, and made it what it is today. There's other people who believe that you guys didn't do enough or didn't do well enough, which is why there's still no structure. You mentioned the guild. That we know there's always camps and drama. Right. There's sometimes we have two, three presidents of these guilds. Yeah. You know, how would you assess how your generation has done with the industry? My, my generation has done very well, extremely well. It was in my generation. Remember they banned us at the point. It wasn't, it wasn't a oh, joke. Yeah. It was because we were fighting, okay? Um, we kept fighting for, for, for um, standards to, to be raised. We, we kept fighting for standards to change. We, were, we bought the brunt of it because they banned us because they thought we were problem, mm -hmm. you know, pro uh, problematic. But we, we knew what we were trying to do. Uh, we're trying to push the industry standards up. So some people have been doing that for a very long time. Unfortunately, it's a thankless job, but that's okay as well. Um, for me, my motivation is my kids and the generations coming after. If that's the only thing I can achieve, because I think, you know, here there's almost nothing else I need to prove. But if we can leave a sustainable um, um, structure, you know, so that those coming behind us don't have to suffer as much as we have, then I would feel like my generation, we have done something. Yeah. So far, it is in my generation that at least a lot of actors have been able to get well paid. Before I came into the movies, you know, I, I started acting, what, 94, 95? It was a taboo for you to say you're an actor. Like, my mother beat me several times. <laughs> like, she was like, you will not disgrace you, you'll me one more, you know? <laughs> stuff like that. She would say, if they ask you what you do, say you're a student, you know, and all of that stuff. But now, parents can, you know, uh, very confidently say my child is an actor. And yeah. this is something that some of us have been able to do because we brought some kind of prestige to this, to this job and we have made sure that it Pays. Yeah. You can pay your bills and you can live well. Very true. Please don't mind. I'm saying this directly to people listening. Please don't mind all those people that come on social media and say, how do all these actresses make money? It's a lie, okay? You make good money. They probably want to scare you away so you don't come in as well. Ask them, why are they still there? If you don't make money, then leave, right? <laughs> people make money. People make money from this job and people live well. There are actors who are not prostitutes. I need to say this, it's very embarrassing. I know there are some people that embarrass us, but there are so many people who would actually do this job very honorably and actually feed their families from this job. And they know what they're doing. And they deserve that respect. It's an honorable job. We just need to be more organized. And we're doing that why right the now. Perception, why does the perception continue, though, you think? Well, because, it, you know, it's a job that thrives. Is, is a, how would I put it? It's a job that you don't necessarily have to go to school to do. But there are people who actually have gone to school to study it. Yeah. So we started from, oh, you're fine. You're a fine girl. You know, you should be in front of the cameras. So it's a, it's a vanity job. Does that make sense? You have to be good looking to be in front of the cameras to some extent. So what comes with that? When you see a good looking guy or girl, you know, the person that comes to you, hmm, we're I fine. Wonder how. I wonder how that guy is looking at her. So it's a, it's a perception. Most of the time, you hear people say, oh, you know, I'm acting and I'm kissing a guy and you hear somebody, in, you know, just watching the movie, go, ah, I wish I was the one kissing her. But you forget that we've, we've done that like 10, 12, 12, 50 times, you know, that take, yeah. and we're actually over it. We are, we're, we're exhausted. There's no feelings there. It's, yeah. it's just work. What's the favorite movie you've ever done? Oh, I know yeah. you have one. You can't tell me there's none. I have many. <laughs> <laughs> Give me three. different reasons. I love a, a movie I did called My Story, um, just because I acted as... A young lady, I think I was in my early 20s or something like that. And then I went and acted as Chidi Bokeme's mother in my, <laughs> in my late 60s. Um, so my story... So the range. Yeah, the good. range, okay. you know, um, and, 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 and the story, you know, okay. the meat of the story. I like uh, Motel and Harrington's, of course, because of the kind... I like we love Motel movies. And I, I hope we bring you back. Yeah, I was going to say, because like, <laughs> things are being remade now, even Why in Hollywood. Not? Not yeah. Yeah, would you remake the, that? I would love to. I would really love to. I, I think it's to. a very, very relevant story. It is a relevant that can story. can still work today. Today, because we still have these issues, yeah. right, about sickle cell yeah. anemia. So, yeah, I think that, I mean, whoever's listening, I'm here. I'm going. <laughs> that would be very yeah, interesting. So Let's talk about Tefest. You know, the... Let's talk about, okay, yeah, Blood Sister, of course, mm -hmm. that was a good one. Let's talk about Tefest now. What, what informed this and what are the plans for that? So, Tefest um, was born out of everything I had talked about earlier. You know, I mean, prior to this time, I used to be like on my own kind of thing. 
I'm doing okay, I'm doing my, my career, I'm doing my, you know, my thing. Um, but then it gets to a point where you, you know, you start to really feel the weight of these little ones, these young ones coming behind you and how much they're suffering. Um, I heard recently last year, late last year, that some actors now are having to pay producers to be in movies. I think that's absurd. It's, un it's unheard of. It's unbelievable. And, you know, what do you expect? You know, we're now running um, some industry where people think that they're giving you an opportunity to actually get seen. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not right, you know. And this, like I said, is all because we don't have a good structure and because people do not even understand the business. And so TFS is actually a festival about the business of entertainment, not just movies, but entertainment. So that's music, movies, and everything else yeah. in, in entertainment. And um, because of the kind of uh, person I am, I, I, I move around with a lot of people from other industries. And I see how, you know, they've been able to build their industry. There's some, there's some things, there's some basic things that you must have in your industry that we don't have. Just basic things, say for example, HMOs, you know, and all of that stuff. I mean, my husband, for example, the aviation industry, I'm covered because of him, you know, and I should be, I should be, I should be more alive than my husband. <laughs> I mean, like he's a, I mean but you're a pilot, yeah, you make good money, but you're still a salary earner, right? Yeah. Or it's aviation, right? I mean, in other climes, the entertainment industry make more money, yeah. you know, and all of that That's stuff. All and all and all our lifestyle should be popping more than them. Not you giving me handouts, oh, yeah. you know, and all of that stuff, you know. So <laughs> my point is we could achieve so much more if we're just that organized yeah. and if we understood the business. You know, so people are ripping us off. People are eating our out of our sweat, and we are the slaves. Yeah. Yet it should be the other way around. So that's what TFS is here to do. TFS is here to bring everything that needs to um, come service the entertainment industry, but from the back end, that's the business. So we're, yeah. we're not really into the the show, the front part of it. We're more about the business. Yeah. So we're working with other industries, not just the entertainment industry. We're working with finance, we're working with um, medicals, we're working with um, um, real estate, everything that needs to come together to make the entertainment industry um, great. Financially so saying, sustainable. Yes, and yeah. create proper wealth. Okay. Proper wealth. Yeah. When are you and, looking at this happening? So this is happening on the 29th of November at the podium. Okay. Podium Oniru. Okay. From 9 a.m. Please be early. I'm very strict. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get to be a part of it? Um, you can be a part of it by first going to register. Okay. It is a free um, event this year and hopefully um, moving on. <laughs> but it is free this year. So just go to www.tefest.com. That's two slash Fs. Two Fs. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> T E. You're such a season. <laughs> T E W -E F E S T yeah. dot com slash registration, and um, you can register, or you can just go to um, www dot T E W -E F E S T dot com, <laughs> and then look for the registration and go register. Yeah. Um, so it's free, like I said. Um, everyone is invited. If you're in the entertainment industry, if you're in any other industry, and you want to understand how to um, do business with the entertainment industry, Still come. yes, please come. Please come. So you, you get registered, you get your accreditation on that day. This yeah. registration is like two, I mean, someone just said one minute uh, yeah. max, you know, and, and you're, you're set up. Thank you very much. www.tefest.com, T-E-F-F-E-S-T.com, 29th November at Podium Oniru. Looking forward to that. I'm actually very interested. So I probably you will actually register there. and pop by because... You will I mean, probably? There's, 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 I, I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> it's about you. It's for you. You I have definitely to be Because, I mean, these are the conversations that we need to be having. And yeah, for people exactly. like you who have done this for over two decades, I think, why not come listen? I can't tell you the people that are interested yeah. in this. People are just like, oh, about time. <gasps> about yeah. time. You just be there. Honest conversations, I hope. I mean, there are conversations, so there's a seminar, but it's a fair. Yeah, you have, so you there's have to, a lot. It's a fair, so there's business, actual yeah. business going on. And we're trying to actually link the real business with the people. Yeah. So, I mean, other industries, like I said, are also showcasing. We have people from, um, for example, we have Nodica, um, okay. you know, Fertility. I mean, think about think that, that yeah. with, with an entertainment industry, yeah. right? Um, so we have real estate, we have all kinds of... Um, um, uh, businesses. companies, businesses that have always wanted to do business with us but didn't know exactly how because they don't understand how we so do things or they don't trust us. Well, now you can, you can find all of them. And then, of course, you can still find things about the entertainment industry. And then the guild heads are going to be there as well. Okay. So both uh, the AGN uh, president is going to be there. The P-Man president is going to be there. Most of them are speaking. And then you can find their boots also at the exhibition so that they don't just speak and zap. Up, yeah. You can find them and ask questions and, you know, whatever you need to do. Good luck with everything. And uh, there might be a mortal inheritance you make. <laughs> you heard it here first. Thank you, Thanks Charles. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you so and, uh, much. Always good a luck pleasure. With everything.